Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing an unexplained phenomena video titled Alien Humans. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> it does, I'm the first to admit it. But let's I want to discuss this with you a bit because there's some things we don't understand and there's some things that don't make sense. There's a man named Dr. Ellis Silver. He wrote a book titled Humans Are Not From Earth. A scientific evaluation of the evidence. Okay. He lists and discusses 17 reasons why humans are not suited for living on this planet. For example, large doses of sunlight hurt us. We get uh, sunburn. Okay. And we sh that shouldn't happen. If if we're naturally evolved on this planet, we should be used to it. Right. Um, a large percentage of the population have chronic back aches meaning we're used to a lower gravity. Higher gravity pushes us down. Okay. Um, we are better programmed to exist with a 25-hour day instead of a 24-hour day. Uh, astronauts in orbit, their circadian rhythms change from a 24-hour day to a 25-hour day, which consequently is the same uh, uh, day time, uh, the same uh, day length, rather, as Mars, as I understand it. So, that's something to consider. Here's, here's another, another thing we need, to, we need to understand. Why did humans in colder climates lose their body fur when we tend to freeze to death? Because humans evolved in Africa, and we understand that. Um, but there's furry animals in Africa. Why did humans lose their body fur? I mean, I've got a beard, and we have hair on our head, and blah, 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 blah. And we have body hair, but it's not, you know, it's definitely not protective, you know. Although I got a, I got some relatives that might, that might actually apply to. But my point is, we, we are not suited for the atmosphere on this planet. Um, why did we lose our natural claws before we gain technology. Think about it. Lloyd Pye also does a, a number of things on this. Human beings crawled out of the out of the, the, the trees and the savannas and stood upright and what's roaming the savannas? Big cats, lions, jaguars, tigers. We're walking meat bags. We don't have any claws. Before we had tools, we had no weapons. We can't outrun anything. We breed a lot, but we don't breed that much. How did humans survive? It raises questions. Dr. Silver posits the theory that for whatever reason, humans were brought to or moved to this planet from their origin world, which would explain these anomalies. And people go, well, what about all the UFOs in the sky and all that? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, our government... The, the, the Pentagon and last year the Navy both announced that uh, UFOs are real. So if they're not from here, they've got to be aliens, right? Or some other dimension or whatever. But what if we're the aliens? Somebody put us here or our ancestors came here. But if you think about it like this, I do a lot of videos on ancient technology that, that we don't, we can't explain. For example, Michael Primo and his Forbidden Archaeology. What if our ancestors came here and we lost all that knowledge somehow from that other civilization and we had to start over from scratch? It raises questions. I'm not saying that's what happened because I don't know. Nobody does. <coughs> Excuse me, but my point is everybody's finding stuff from our past that we can't explain. Dr. Silver here has found things about us that we can't explain. Where did we come from? If we don't know where we came from, who are we? It raises questions, that's all I'm saying. There's things about ourselves we don't know. And when we don't know something, we should probably try to find it out. Unexplained phenomena. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.